Hello, my name is Ray Poole. I'd like to share some basic techniques of playing the harp with you. Whether you play a pedal harp or a lever harp of any size, most of these techniques remain the same. There are many schools of harp playing. These are my opinions based on my experience. We studied hand placement with all four fingers in the previous video. Now let's place only one finger, the index finger, number two. Hand position and finger placement begin long before you ever touch the strings. Let's see how. Place your right hand on the side of the harp with your thumb pointing up and your fingers resting across the sounding board at a gentle diagonal. From this point, in order to place the index finger, all you have to do is reach out for the string. The thumb will already point upwards. The lower fingers will reach out into the air very near to a playing position. It's just a simple move from the sounding board to a playing position for either one, two, three, or all four fingers. The fifth finger is never used for playing. It's too short and not strong enough. But it does move in unison with the fourth finger. In this case, the index finger, number two, is the only one placed on a string. The other fingers are close by. They can go on at any time. This is the purpose of a good hand position. You are always ready to play. The thumb points up. The fingers point down at a diagonal. They can be easily placed with a minimum of effort. If you're going to play a pair of strings, both fingers must go on at once. They may play separately or together. No matter, but initially they must place at the same time. If you're going to play three notes as either a chord, C, E, G, or as an arpeggio, C, E, G, all three notes must be placed in a single movement. And the same goes for four fingers. Place them simultaneously. When you're placing strings in both hands, they must go on at the same time. You may be placing only one finger in each hand. You may be placing an interval in each hand. You may be placing a triad, a three note chord, in each hand. you may place all four fingers in each hand at once. Here's a G7 chord. Be sure that the left thumb places higher than the right hand fourth finger. Otherwise, you'll have a battle between them and knock yourself off the harp. Make sure your fingers go on the strings exactly where they will play with no further adjustment.
do not place them all at the same level and then adjust into position. This is a very bad habit that will slow down your playing by adding unnecessary motion. For optimal heart technique that gives speed and facility for your development, these principles of secure finger placement must be achieved. Here's what you want to avoid. I call it the itsy bitsy spider climbing up the water spout. Do not roll up the strings a finger at a time. For instance, in thirds, string, 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 adjust. No. You must learn to place at once. A triad, this way, no, and then adjust. You must learn to place them all at once. Or even a dominant seventh chord, G7. Do not place a note at a time, but rather all together at once. See how long that took? You need to learn to place them all at once. Play G7. Thanks for watching.